Okay, Sophia weather warning continues to be updated by the Samoa Meteorology Division and was updated 5am today at local time. Heavy rain war warning is in place for Samoa when advisory also for all Samoa. Flood advisory is now in force for all major rivers and vulnerable areas. There's also a, a small craft advisory for the western coastal waters. A low pressure system set to the south of Tavalu continues to remain as a tropical disturbance, CO7F, at about 701 kilometres northwest of a pier. The system is expected to slowly intensify as it drifts southeast near the forecast zone in the evening. However, an active convergence zone to the north, which links to the above mentioned system, will impact the island with heavy rain and gusty winds as it drifts over the islands. Winds are expected to increase while activity will elevate towards the afternoon. Heavy downpours with poor visibility, strong to gusty winds, flying objects, foggy, slippery roads over the mountain passes and ranges, strong river outflow, landslides, building near roadsides and waterways, strong currents as well as rough seas and coastal inundation. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre has issued a tropical cyclone formation alert for the tropical disturbance CO7 F or 93P. An area convection has persisted near 11 decimal 9 degrees south, 173 decimal 9 degrees east about 440 nautical miles north northwest of Nandi, uh, Fiji, animated multispectral satellite imagery depicts a broad low level trough with multiple areas of sporadic deep convection evident in a 89 gigahertz image and you can clearly see from the NOAA flighters how complex it is. However, the system is the result of a complex monsoon trough interacting with westerly winds bursts associated with an active MJO signature and is assessed as a hybrid tropical system. Invest 93P is traversing a favourable environment for further intensification with good poleward outflow, low 15 knots vertical wind shear, warm 30 to 31 sea surface temperature. Global models are in good agreement that the Invest 93P will continue to track east southeast towards Pago Pago, American Samoa as it further strengthens and consolidates over the next 24 to 48 hours. Maximum sustained service winds are estimated at 20 to 25 knots and minimum sea level pressure is estimated to be around the 1000 millibar level mark. The potential for the development of a significant tropical cyclone within the next 24 hours remains medium. Now here's a look at various uh, models on the system. G 
GFS. Look at the uh, Fiji's service chart. The latest tropical cyclone formation probability guide. If it's 93P HWRF model, it's the uh, winds. And a total forecast of rain. We also have FS uh, 96P to the northwest of uh, New Caledonia. We'll be back later with uh, some information on that one and also what's making the local weather scene here in Australia. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information on Force 13 Australia, you can check us on all of our outlets. Our website, 413.com where we are overhauling the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube, keyword 413AU. You're probably there already. Good chance of that. If you are, hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like this one coming to your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we post our updates and keep an eye out for our live coverage on there as well. And we're on Twitter, keyword 413AU. And if you want to rock our colors, you can do so by way of our store, or you can continue to the project directly by way of Patreon. More information can be found at patreon.com forward slash force 13. And you can reach out to us on Skype at force 13 or directly to us at Aussie underscore weather 01 at extension 6388 on Discord. Or you can join our server with our new link at discord.gg forward slash force 13.